long fight against illegal mining, Galamse, and how the matter has unfortunately taken a political twist, much to the disappointment of many. And this is has got a number of you uh, talking ahead of tonight as we put up that question as to whether there's been leadership shown in the fight against illegal mining in this country. And you can go on our Facebook and X pages, uh, three hours to the show, as we always do. We put up a question to engage a lot of you and, and share your thoughts and your mind with us. But many are those who did not take kindly to the comments made by the Member of Parliament for the Insulma Madrid constituency. He's also the majority chief whip in this eighth parliament, Frank Anodompre on, on Galamse. When the matter came up in parliament yesterday, the majority chief whip sought to draw a comparison between the MPP and the NDC as to who caused more damage and destruction to our water bodies, the legal mining. This is exactly what the member of parliament said. Take a look. Problems. We all know now there is water shortages all over in Ghana, particularly in Kumase, particularly in Mencia, where the running mate of MPP is coming from. If we are to look and investigate, you polluted the water more than us. You polluted the water more than us. Well, so that's the comment. You polluted the water more than us and reduced this rather serious issue to the comparison of the MPP and DC and who polluted water bodies more. <laughs> Adam Sinanu is the co-chair of the Citizens Movement Against Corruption and has been looking into this quite closely. He's joining us on Zoom. So, Sinanu, this is the comment coming from the, the, one of the leaders in Parliament for that matter. How did this strike you? Outrageous and irresponsible, as I said. Absolutely outrageous and irresponsible. Stop behaving like children, uh, small boys in a, in, a, in a football park, you know, making a trivial banter out of this. You were elected to take action, elected to, to promote the best interests of citizens. You don't come up and say, your group, what not? Is that why they're in parliament? They think that's what we want to hear on TV and radio? Absolute nonsense. It doesn't make sense. It absolutely doesn't make sense. Look at the level of the crisis. You see, if you're making this statement, and maybe at the time it was okay, maybe you would want to just say, let them go. But at this point, fourteen thousand turbidity, and they are talking when when our system is not even supposed to be doing two thousand ceiling of thousand thousand five. And you are here joking around with it. This kind of insensitivity to the, the feelings of citizens must stop. And they should stop just patting each other's backs and, and trying to make this as, like, as if it's not an important thing for Ghanaians. We need to take immediate action now. They should not forget that this president put his presidency on the line if he didn't deal with this thing. This point. If you're talking about integrity, if you're talking about people who mean what they say, we should see him taking some action. What it meant was that I will step down if I'm not going to get results. And they are not talking about that. They are saying what? You made it more dirty or what? You made it more poisonous. And it is something funny. And people don't see anything wrong with that. Highly outrageous and irresponsible behavior. Hmm. We didn't elect them so they'll come back and be giving us talk back on, on things that are not what bring solutions. Hmm. Let's get real and let our leaders behave like mature people in this country. Hmm. Well, Masano, you're livid. And, and in fact, this, this reflects the same reaction that a number of people have had to that statement by the majority chief whip, Frank Anodompre. You say an, an irresponsible comment, you, you describe it, but has there been leadership shown over the period in the fight against illegal mining in this country, from where you sit? Absolutely not. You know, we say everything thrives on leadership, falls and rises on leadership. Leadership is cause, everything else is effect. 
good leadership means that you you bring people around, you brainstorm, you get the solutions you implement. If they don't work, you modify them. You by all means get to a point. But this one is clearly a human behavior issue. This is not about a, a, a lack of capacity to enforce and make sure it is not that. There are so many other jurisdictions, you see it online, people are doing comparisons that the laws, the policies, and the enforcement are working. And the only reason why it, it would not be working in Ghana is because there are people who are complicit and they are conflicted and they are refusing to act. In other countries where people have integrity and they value ethics, when you're not able to perform, you just say, I will resign. Let other people come in and rethink this and let's see what we can do. But we have people who will just sit there, they're not getting us the results, they want to do comparisons. Is that serious behavior? Is that what leadership in this country has been reduced to? I think we should all make sure that they know that we are, we are very displeased with this kind of attitude and talk. They need to apologize to us. And if they assume that uh, uh, when another hmm. party comes, then that too will be acceptable. All of them, whether on the majority side or the minority side, to curtail this kind of absolutely unacceptable behavior. Hmm. But, but, Sano, so, really, <laughs> the, uh, I'm getting so many comments based on how upset and angry you are, which indeed is, reflects the same position that a lot of people have taken on this matter. You kept making reference to the fact that the president said he was prepared to put his presidency on the line some seven years, almost seven years ago. Now, are you saying that based on that statement, some action or should have been taken by now? You talk about resignation and so on. Is that what you're pointing to? The president ought to have been coming back to say, I am handing in my resignation because I failed. Or else he should be telling us, I know, I have, I've called a strategic meeting and we are governized. I mean, there should be action. That is being honest. That is being showing integrity. It shouldn't be just silence. And his ministers and those who are in government with him ought to be taking action. They shouldn't be quick to think that that game, they think we will all accept it. He should have come back to say, these are the actions we are going to take now. We need to hold our leaders to the highest standards of accountability. Otherwise, this country is not moving forward. And that's our fear. You look at the manifestos, you are not seeing how strategically they are thinking through to address the core issues. At least in my sector of anti-corruption, I don't see anything very serious. The, the, the strategic issues that you should do, political party financing, it's nothing on it. Right. Right. Is that no Illicit enrichment. There's nothing on it. Hmm. And, and I do thank you so much for venting out the spleen and also that, that, that uh, frustration with, with this. You're not alone in this, I can tell you for a fact. If you go on our Facebook page at TV3 Gun on Facebook, there's so many people um, who align with you on this. But thank you for joining us. He's the uh, chair of the Citizens Movement Against Corruption, joining us here on Ghana tonight. Up next, a manifesto check. We focus on the fight against corruption and what promises the political parties have made. Adam Sanano says nothing really convincing. Stay with us. We're back shortly. <laughs>